Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you for joining me for the devotional today. We are in Job chapter 2, verses 7 through 8, which read this way. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with loathsome sores from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. And he, Job, took a piece of broken pottery with which to scrape himself while he sat in the ashes. Now, what has happened is that Job has become entirely covered by boils. Now, boils are these painful, pus-filled blisters that appear right underneath the surface of the skin, and they're caused by infected hair follicles. Now, these follicles get infected with bacteria, for example. They fill with pus. They then stretch the skin, which is painful. They then rupture and then heal and scar and heal and scar until the process is done. And a cluster of boils is called a carbuncle. And Job was covered by one big, massive carbuncle. You know, I think it's important not to diminish the pain and discomfort that Job endured in this moment. In fact, Job chronicles some of the details of this experience in the chapters that follow. Listen to how he describes it. First, Job 7, Verse 5, he says, My flesh is clothed with worms and dirt. In other words, worms and dirt are getting into his wounds. My skin hardens, so it heals, and then it breaks out afresh. Healing and breaking and healing and breaking. Job 7.14 reads this way, Then you scare me with dreams and terrify me with visions. In other words, he's having night terrors because of all this. Right? Then Job 19, 17 reads, My breath is strange to my wife, and I am a stench to the children of my own mother. In other words, uh, he smells awful. Then 1920 reads, My bones stick to my skin and to my flesh. So he feels the hardening of his body as it's almost stuck to his bones, and he almost can't bend his ligaments and his elbows and his joints because it keeps breaking his tight skin. Job 30 verse 17, the night racks my bones and the pain that gnaws me takes no rest. In other words, the pain is never ending, not even as he sleeps. Job 30 verse 18, with great force my garment is disfigured. It binds me about like the collar of my tunic. In other words, his clothing is sticking to him. And then finally, Job 30, verse 30, my skin turns black and falls from me and my bones burn with heat. In other words, it's discoloring his skin. His bones feel like they're on fire. Now, what we should see here is that this wasn't normal suffering. This was actually extraordinary suffering. But given all this, if we jump ahead a little bit, Job says this a little later in this whole chronicle. It reads this way. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall be whole, and not another. That's Job chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. You know, I don't know if you've experienced this yet in your life, but sometimes unbelievable suffering results in some of the most unbelievable praise. So here's a question for you. What are you praising God for today? What are you praising Him for? Share that in the comments below. And as you praise, consider what God has brought you through that has resulted in that praise. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, share it with somebody else. Hit subscribe below, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.